Hey guys, Finlux here, back with our blind playthrough of Nier Automata. So just real fast, if you are watching this anywhere near the time it's recorded, um, you know, if, if the PS3 digital storefront is still available, then, uh, and, and if you want PS1 games, if that's something you want, um, it's, it's worth knowing that the... If you actually go in and look on your PS3 and you look for PS1 games, only like 71, I think, are listed. There's actually about anywhere from 150 to 200 on there, but for some reason they're not listed. You can search for them manually or you can go into the actual... Uh, you can search for PS1, but you got to spell one out. P-S-O-N-E. I think I said this in a previous episode, but just in case. Um, and there's there's more there, so you can still purchase them. Or you could, you know, acquire them digitally online somewhere, right? Which, uh, again, I don't know why... I don't know why, like, it, wouldn't it take more effort to shut down the storefront? I mean, unless they're going to shut down the storefront and then here in a year or two shut down the actual server so you can no longer download your stuff. That's a possibility as well, in which case... Yeah. Then again, maybe they're thinking the PS5 will be fully up and available and you'll be able to purchase them on there as well. Who knows? At least for right now, it's also the only place you can get... Maybe the only place that you can get the... Uh, Beyond Good and Evil HD edition. It's not available in disc, from what I understand. Digital only, which is like... Why? Why do that? It's... kind of annoying. Alright, so we're here. We're looking for a storage element. Um, let me collect these little things real fast in case they are natural rubber, because I need... Or do I not need natural rubber? I don't remember. I used to need natural rubber. If I still do, I cannot be certain. It's giving me crystals, though. Which, I mean, I have, I have plenty of those. So... Yeah, I mean, for better or, or worse, I've basically been throwing my money away on the PlayStation Store for the PS3. That's tragic. Medium and small recoveries. Where's... Oh, weird. I didn't... I didn't see it there. You know, I bought some PS1 games. I've bought... Uh, I keep getting errors from the PlayStation Store. Even when it was working, it never worked great. Body Eddie one two three. All right, we'll fight you. Saw my old companions in a vain forest. And uh... yo. Yeah. That counterattack is very powerful. Yeah, now that I know Beyond Good and Evil is there, it, it's annoying because it's like it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. I assume at least in Europe, you know, Europe has better consumer protections than the U.S. seems to. Ken, error, laughed at the enemy's strength at an empty theater. Uh... You know, and so presumably, I mean, you would think they'd they'd be required to keep the servers up, so that way you could still download the stuff that you purchased, right? But who knows? Right, these guys, yep, they're dead. And another hackable chest. Wait, that elevator. That means we can go down, right? Well, presumably that means with 9S we'll have to... We'll have to come back here. But yeah, so I assumed they'd have to keep their actual storefront going, but... Or, or not the storefront, the actual, like... Being able to download the stuff, but maybe... Maybe not, maybe they don't have that obligation. 
I don't know. It's a freaking disaster. It makes it really. Oh yeah, that's a one of those spider robots. It's like why purchase digital? Whoa, dude! Whoa, doggy! That is a little slow. Oh yes, that was a nice little counter there. Whoa! But yeah, it's a, it's it is a great question. Like, why why even purchase digital stuff then if if they're not gonna withhold or not withhold? If they're not gonna upkeep their end of the bargain, why even bother? There you go. Storage elements. The irony is not lost. Body game, Mr. NT. Ruthless Android couldn't perform as well as usual, looking down on Earth. Let's fight him. It's it's also really kind of irritating with the the PS3 thing that um you know like I'm I'm going through I'm looking through my game list and I'm like oh I haven't played that in a while oh wait there's DLC am I going to want that in the future and not be able to get it I'm just like it's annoying You know? <sighs> so, yeah, frustrating. It's like... And then, and then the whole... Like, I don't even have a PS4 or a PS5 at the moment. Because, you know, they want you to... They do the Xbox Live thing. Oh, there's a chest in there somewhere, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's the hackable one. Got it. Um... And I'm just like, you know what? I already... Why do all these companies just want to keep nickel and diming you for everything? Why? It's like, I'm already paying for internet service. Now you want me to pay just to play multiplayer? Wait, am I going the right way? No. Like the whole Xbox Live thing. Or PlayStation Plus or whatever. It's like... Basically, you want to charge me a fee to use your online service. It's like, well... Just go with PC, then. You know? Why even bother? Oh yeah, we should save. Just in case. Save. Always. Storage element, give the materials to Pascal. Is that the only other one? Um, maybe. Oh, that's a moose. Hmm. Excuse me, I'm burping a little bit. So it's just it's just frustrating. It's just frustrating. You know, why even why even bother? And then for me part of the thing now if 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 Sony was like, "Hey, you you bought this stuff already. It's in your PlayStation Network account or whatever. And even if it, we discontinue it here, if it's on, uh, if it's on, you know, PS5, you'll be able to play it there for, for free or, or something, right? Like, cause the whole point is feeling like, you know, when you purchase it, that you're not wasting your money because I feel like how Nintendo does it where it's like oh you purchased it for the Wii now you have to purchase it again for the Wii U now you have to purchase it again for the Switch it, it's just like screw you you're just taking advantage of us you know now if you made it available so that if I purchase it on one system and then it's available for all of them that would be something 
that would be something worth doing at least. In, whereas emulation offers, you know, more options, better options. It's not linked to something that if it dies, you're not gonna you lose it permanently. It, it's just, it's like Gabe. Oh, hey, Manny. Gabe originally said, are you going to have to... Do you have to do this? Okay, you want to get in my lap? That's fine. It's like Gabe eventually said, uh, you know, piracy is a service problem, although I hate the term piracy because it implies theft when basically what it is is, I didn't give you permission to do this and you're doing it. Right? Like the whole... I don't know, maybe I'm showing my age a little bit, but back in the day when you're a kid and you're doing research papers and the, there's a reference book or something, you need to hand in copies of your sources or something, right? You can't, uh... I don't know if I'm going the right way. You can only, um... You know, if you can't check out the research book or a reference book or whatever. You know, because everyone needs to use it for this one project. Then, uh... Then you photocopy the pages and then you hand them into the teacher with your report. And it's like, well, you can only record... Or, sorry, not record. You can only photocopy 10 pages. If you photocopy 11... I don't know why I'm saying photocopy. I could just say copy. You can only copy 10. If you copy 11, oh my god, you're a pirate. You know? And it's like, that's the... That's the thing. It's it's almost... Uh, it's like them telling you what you can do with your stuff. Which is... It's like, oh yeah, you could buy this car, but you can only drive 10 miles a day or, or something weird. It, it doesn't... Why are you locking onto that? I don't know, it's... All these people with too much money and power and they want control... And they get it, because they're the rich ones. What is it, the golden rule? He who has the gold makes the rules? Yep. So, I don't know. Plus, you know, if you've read 1984, and, and this is the purpose of law, by the way. Law is not a standard for which you to live, for which you live your life to measure yourself against. No. They make the laws and their goal is to make everyone guilty of something. That way they can get the people they want to get. They can mess with the people they want to mess with. They can lock up the people they want to lock up. It's not about fairness or standards or any of that stuff. It would be nice if it was, but it's not. But it's not. All right, let's see if we can upgrade anything. Still need crushed nuts. You know, it's funny because I'm watching a... Uh, Stretch coil. I got two of them. Where do I get them, though? Probably the abandoned factory. Maybe we'll head back there after this. See if we can get some more. Uh, but I was watching uh, Tales of Creed play through Drakengard 3, and one of the disciples, Decadus, is... Uh, he's a masochist, so he's... You know, he likes getting kicked in the balls and stuff. It's very weird. Ah, A2. But if that's your thing, I mean, go for it. Ah, A2. You have the part needed to repair the child. I cannot thank you enough. This is meager compared to what you've done, but please take it. Got a meteorite. In all honesty, we could have transferred the child's core to another body instead of repairing the original. This process allows us to resurrect ourselves as many times as we want. However, it comes at the cost of our memories. Yeah. So in a way, he would no longer be the same child. Thankfully, this is no longer an issue. Thank you so much. 
Interesting. Almost like the uh, gene seed in uh, Warhammer 40k. Alright, I really respect Pascal, you know? I mean, he's the one who thought to build this village for us outcasts. I really need to show him how thankful I am. If only there was some way to thank him. Some way. Yeah, yeah, I could take the hint. No hint. I just want to show Pascal how appreciated he is. Anyway, I was thinking you might like a new philosophy book. I hear they have such things over in the resistance camp. All right. All right, I'll get your book. I owe that little clunker a favor or two anyway. Oh, that's wonderful. Apparently someone named Anemone has a large collection of such books. So you just need to go steal one. Uh, yeah, no, I think there's a better way. Yeah, if you're a pacifist, stealing seems like a really bad idea. Just saying. Uh, okay. Um. Alright, well, quick save. Villager's request receive the philosophy book from Anemone. 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 Whatever. <laughs> Anemone. Let's see if I can use the meteorites. Not by. Not by. Um. Yes, meteorites. I have one. I need more than one. But I need machine arms. Where do we get those from? Just all the little dudes? Little dudes all around? Come see me again. Um. Let's just go to the camp. Right, let's just go to the camp, because, well, it's kind of pointless trying to upgrade all the weapons and stuff right now. We can work on that, sure, but um, 9S is the one that has the access to the other robot coliseum. What level am I? I was thinking, like, maybe I could go fight that one. I'm level 70. Let's wait. Let's wait a little bit more, because touching the ground is real pain. Right, Manny? Yeah. Yep. Uh. It's kind of annoying, that whole PSN shutdown thing. I ended up purchasing a ton of stuff. A lot of PS1 games, a couple... Well, just one PS2 game. Uh, but it's like... I mean, maybe they're just not that popular, but even so, it's like... It's like you're the only place that... where you can legally get... PS1 and PS2 games. And you're just... throwing that away. And it seems like it would take more work to... you'd have to create a patch or something to... remove functionality, right? There's gonna be some update that takes the store... or at least the purchasing ability away. So, I don't know. Pascal wants books on philosophy. Well, as it happens, I just finished this one the other day. You're welcome to take it if you like. Thanks. Yeah, books have to be rare. Could you give him this gold ore as well? He's been asking for this for a while, and I finally finally managed to get my hands on some. All right. Look, Pensees. I think that's how you pronounce it. It seems odd that machine life form would be into philosophy, don't you think? Makes me wonder how much we really know about our enemy. I wonder. Yes, indeed. Oh yeah, this is, if this shirt looks a little ratty. Wait, what's going on over here? Yeah. 
Uh oh. Wait, am I Pascal now? I am. Oh no, yeah, so this is my... I've had this shirt for a while. That's why it looks a little raggedy. It's sushi. It's a little bear eating a fish. It says sushi underneath, but you can't see that. It's a great shirt. It's just, you know, it's old. And I'm just like, screw it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna wear it until it falls apart. That's funny. Adorable, too. Uh oh. Large explo Yep, there's Pascal. Well, I did think the village was going to be destroyed eventually. That's kind of how these things go. Plus, they're kind of like the eerie in a way. I can't transport. They're kind of fulfilling the role of the eerie from near. So... Yeah, are all the machines going berserk again? Yeah, that scanner is less useful at the moment, but, um, you know. Let's see if we could s switch something. Yeah, scanner, not great. Volt. We haven't used this one yet. Uh... That didn't seem to work too well on that, probably because the top part is independent from the other parts. Which is actually kind of interesting, right? Like you can, like multi-part enemies, you can restrain. Stretched coil, there we go. That's what does it. It's the tall ones, I guess. All right, let's run to Pascal's village. Interesting that the first shot seems like a like a big one. Oh there, well, I see. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Rusty bolts and silver ore. We did get the fuel filter, right? Mm. 
Yeah, we did, because she we brought the rusty bark and she's like, there you go. Now what happens if I do this? Uh that didn't work. That was terrible, actually. So it's it's kind of alright. Weapon attack up plus three, that's cool. Stretch coil, right on. May as well use weapon attacks because that way you hit all the parts, not just the body. All right. And then let it load. Nice and slow, Manny. The ominous music. It went away. It looks like, well, it shows that there's things still there. Oh, there's enemies, though. In fact, and it's burning. It's on fire now. Yeah, it's bad. Oh, yep. Oh, there's Pascal. Destroy the rampaging machines. Wow. Uh. Oh. That one's alright. That one's okay. Don't kill it by mis- or, or is it? I don't know, it shows as an enemy, so... Well, I hope that wasn't a... docile one. It might have been. You seem pretty weak, all things considered. Well, there's the shopkeeper, one of them anyway. Can I save? Apparently so, we'll do it. Yeah, it's bad. But the, see, it doesn't make a lot of sense, right? Because they're disconnected from the network. Unless, so, I mean, it could be by, uh... Like wireless transmission or something, right? Where, where to? Is that dude, that dude up there, he's locked in his house? Well, he's toast now. I don't feel good about that, by the way. Oh, oh, well, not trying to, not trying to kill the, the victims, but uh, apparently that's what happens though. Uh, let's try going down, I guess. No, that's where we were. Oh, no, 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 I bet it's, um... Hmm. Ah, uh, maybe we should kill this one over here. It shows as an enemy. Well, if not, then I put it out of its misery, I suppose. Okay. 
so... Nope, can't do anything with that one. Um, maybe this way? I see the black... Yeah, okay. Is that all of them? I see a white dot on the thing. Right, I mean, I don't want to either, but I'm trying to find... I assume there's one more enemy somewhere. Is it, uh... Okay, it's not that one. Uh... Oh, I guess I just killed the dude in there. So, all right. I'm just trying to look on the mini-map, you know? Do I need to destroy all these bodies? I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Destroy the rampaging machines. I think they're all gone. I mean, I don't see them anymore. Right? I mean, I'd really rather not destroy the corpses, but I, I don't know what else to do. Where's the ladder down? Right here. Maybe there's some down here. Oh, there's the sisters. Well, and they're destroyed now. That's pretty sad. That's all of them, right? Body Hannah Old. Lone pugilist fell along with the enemy over there. Alright, so she's toast. Finn, Gear Monster 1, combat loving android, couldn't find a weak point in a dark hole beneath the city. doesn't actually work against them. So there you go. That's good to know. The vault doesn't seem to hold them in place. Very interesting. Probably won't work against bosses either. See, I'm, I'm at a loss again. Because now... I mean, that was all of them, right? Wait, what about here? I hear something. So I guess Pascal might have come back. Like a fan. Oh no, it's... Wait, where did, where did that one come from? これで全部か。生き残っている機械生命体はそうか。パスカル、聞こえるか。ははは、ヘイトゥーさん。村は村の皆はどうなりましたか。すまない。ダメだった。そんな子供たちは大丈夫か。
Need Pascal at the abandoned factory. Can we teleport now? Yes, we can. Why couldn't we bef Well, I guess they wouldn't want you coming out right where it's, uh... You know, because you need to see it, right? Um, where are we going? Factory entrance. Yep. So near... Near was about the end of an era. About the extinction of humans. I wonder if this is going to be about the extinction of... Machine life forms. Or, you know, androids as well. You know, in a way, even though. Even though, uh, like, Drakengard is more overtly dark, right? Because of the, you know, baby killing, eating, pedophilia, all that stuff. This is pretty dark as well. I mean, there's cannibalism. You don't think of it as cannibalism because it's, uh, robots. Still, the, the zombie robots with their organic human-looking teeth, that's messed up. If you want some nightmare fuel, go look up, I think it's the dope fish. It's basically a fish with human teeth. Creepy. That or the fish tongue parasite, that's pretty messed up as well, or, you know. Yeah. You know, actually, a heavier weapon with a faster attack speed, like the, whatever that thing was, the white, a uh, two B's heavy weapon. That might be, uh, that might be better because it's faster. Right? Like, what do we, let's see, weapons, uh, weapons set, large. The Virtuous Treaty. Attack speed up in Holy Blessing. Not as strong, but it might be faster. Steel Spine. What is Steel Spine again? Decreases Stagger. So it's pretty good. Increases speed of attacks. Increases attack power when HP is full. We'll try it. Iron Will, whip you there. Or the Phoenix weapons. It does seem faster, like a lot faster. Instead of a second and a half, it might be a second for it to attack. This is bad. Are they gonna all... Yeah. What now? I was, I was gonna say they brought him to the place where all the machines went crazy originally. Also, uh, let me just take a sip of my coffee and pause for a second. Uh, Pascal talking to the children is how Adam was talking to Eve. Like, do this and then we can play. You know, very similar, like they're both children. Those are all good questions. Can't you regenerate your dead villagers? I mean, we just learned that it's not they're not the same anymore. All their memories are lost, so it's basically like they're dead. Is this factory safe? We really need more info. Yeah. 
それを破壊されてしまうと元に戻ることはできませんコアは普段は安全な場所に格納しておくのですが今回犠牲になった村人たちはコアごと破壊されてしまっているのでそうか So they're not in their bodies? Because it said they had their core. Well, I mean, it could be. But the way it said, it was they had their cores and their bodies destroyed. And for a second, I was like, well, because she said, or he, they kept them in a safe place, right? Yeah. ここで牢城するにも、もう少し情報が必要だな。水晶、パスカルたちの早急な安全確保。そんなに急がせるな。各地のポットネットワークから情報を入手。お前たちに仲間がいるのか。皇帝、本工場廃墟に多数の機械生
Oh, we have Goliaths coming? Oh, that's probably the thing shooting us from behind. Man, these guys can be a little... I mean, there's just a lot of them in the... Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a tank. All right. We never really fought the tank. We just hacked it. But I'm going to try and pick up all this. Whoa! Bouncy balls, huh? Oh, we're locked under the tank, are we? I'm... Wait, what is... Oh, there's these dudes. Yeah, okay. Ouch. It would be nice if there was some way to differentiate, like, or switch targets while locked on. Oh! Whoa, it tries to run you over. That's awesome. And that's it? It's dead already? Oh. That's a little disappointing, to be honest. Uh, I... Oh, wait, why am I hurt? Because cutscene requires us to be. Yeah! She's on a Goliath. Or he. I... Alright, uh, how do I... Oh, I'm... I tried to attack there. There we go. I see. Yeah. Do I walk forward? I guess so. Oh, there's a ship in the back there. What if I try a heavy attack? Does that shoot the laser? Oh, okay. So you have the... There we go. Yep, that's bad. Let me guess. It, there's going to be another fish monster at some point. Oh! Kaiju! Let's try a heavy attack to start with. Maybe we can, uh... There we go. There we go. Do we have a... R2 or L1 or anything? Nope. Let's try another heavy. Maybe we can knock it back. Very nice. It was going for the, the light attack, which is fine. Don't tell me Pascal's gonna die. We'll go for another heavy, because the wind-up takes a second. There we go. This is pretty awesome. Let's do a light attack. Maybe we can finish it off quickly. Nice. Not as much damage as I was hoping for, but uh, it's fine. You're fine, Manny. I'm just stretching my back. Nice little uppercut.
ああ助かった子供たちが心配です Oh no. Oh no. Are they toast? Oh, I can't attack anymore. Not as Pascal, anyway. I can't jump either, so. You think the children all got eaten while we were out there fighting? Yep. What? Wait! They killed themselves? Or... Or, I, I guess someone, someone else did it. Oh. It's not Pascal's fault, though. Fear is important. Fear is actually super important because it's... It's a survival thing. It means you value your own life, right? So it's like... That means it's the... The worry of losing something, but yeah, suicide is not, it's an escape, right? Oh no. Why is everyone choosing the easy way out? I'm gonna try and leave. I mean, A2 doesn't have a problem with it, probably, but... Can I leave? I guess so. Farewell, Pascal. Grant Pascal's final request. I didn't, though. Ah, now, yeah, now we have to do 9S. So, it's, <sighs> look, I'm not going to say, I didn't even know, I, I figured it would make you do it, right? But Pascal's like, how could you leave me like this? How could you, well, it's like, it, there's always going to be, look, I'm, I'm not, you know, I can't understand what Pascal's going, going through. We're going to have to stop here in a second, but, um, losing basically everything, almost everything, because Pascal could possibly move into the resistance camp and, you know, like Pascal and Anemone still have a relationship and Pascal and A2 now have a, you know, you know, small friendship that's growing. And it's just like, <sighs> Uh, 
you how to put this this is going to sound really dark maybe like a backhanded compliment in a way right but uh married with children i've never i've never watched it but there was this one clip uh that talked it was uh the main character al bundy i guess where he's talking to my understanding is that there was this librarian or teacher or something that basically was just trying to take him down and destroy him and just hate him for whatever reason so he was like really like a football star or something in high school and then just kind of that was the peak of his life and everything else has been downhill from there and she's like you're a loser you're always a loser and he's like no i'm not i'm a winner he's like because look at my life everybody hates me i go to work at a job that i hate i spend all day there and then i come back to a family that hates me and i you know go home and i get up and i do it all again and he's like but the fact that i don't put a gun in my mouth makes me a winner and i i saw that little clip and i'm like yeah right on because if you can deal with all that stuff and and there's no he al bundy is dealing with all this stuff that would break a normal person right but he is able to survive and it's not you know you, you could say maybe his life's not worth living or whatever but there's always a chance it'll get better and you could still make that change right same with pascal you know it's like I'm not going to turn around and be like, do it yourself, Pascal. I'm just going to be like, no. No, I refuse. You're, you're, putting, you're putting this on me. You're putting your weakness on, on me because you want us to kill you. It's like, no. You survive. You survive and, you know, this is a part of life. It's not a good part, you know. But not everything is good. You got you got to take the bad with the good. Anyway, it's kind of like it's kind of like people these days seem to be, you know, they have a minor headache and they're like, "Oh, it's the worst thing ever. I need I need medication." And I sort of realized that, right? People have it good and they don't know how good they've got it. Something like that is pretty freaking awful, but it's, you know, Pascal is still alive. So, I don't know if we're never going to see Pascal again, or if we will see Pascal again, or, or whatever, but who knows. Pod 153 will continue to support Unit 9S. Proposal Pod 153 should periodically review the mental state of Unit 9S. Pod 153 acknowledged. Right, because he was in a hard place as well. Oh! Oh! Huh. Resistance. Camp. Anata, two weeks of sleep. You found it. I love Really? Huh. 
ありがとう私たちのタイプは昔は大勢いたんだ何でも大規模システムの管理を任されていたらしいらしいってどういうこと当時の記録は消去されてるから何があったかわからない私たちのモデルは過去に暴走し事故を起こしてる同型機は事故後にほとんど処理された私たちが処分されていないのは再び暴走しないようにサンプルとして監視されるためなのでもおかげでこうやって仲間を助けることができるそれが私たちが犯した罪への償いだと思ってるあまり無理しないでねナインエス Who's they? They destroyed us, they, all that stuff. Alright, well, let's save. Let's, let's save and then we'll, uh, and then we'll stop. I'm glad it let us actually, you know, walk away. Because I really hope Pascal survives. You know. Um, but that is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um, yeah, I really like kind of the semi-philosophical nature about some of this stuff. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, so what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? Uh, for me, it's the fact that I have this full weekend off. I'm pretty happy about that. It's 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 been a long week for whatever reason. So, uh, so that's nice. And I'm going to be on call a bunch next week. So uh, yeah, I need to rest up while I can. Uh, but that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.